How did it become your responsibility to save her? Because I'm here. Because I can. Talking about an incredible movie, of course, with Ordinary Angels. John, why did you pick this story as one to direct and tell? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, Kevin and I, through Kingdom Story Company, had partnered with Lionsgate on like five projects. We had done Jesus Revolution, American Underdog, I Still Believe, a few other movies. And in those were all films we brought to the studio. This happens to be a movie that Lionsgate brought to us. And it was a passion project they had in-house. They said, I think this would be a good fit for you guys. Would you take a look at it? We read the script and we were like, yes. How can we not tell this story? So we were thrilled to get to partner with them on something that they had been holding on to and looking to develop. And uh, that's where it came to us. Yeah. Kevin, who would you say is the audience for this movie? And the audience is everybody. What I love about it is the title, Ordinary Angels, right? So we can all be an angel in somebody else's life. We just have to do something. Like usually maybe just saying hello because somebody is uh, not having a great day or maybe they're thinking about something that's impacting them. And I love how this is an example of how we can impact somebody in a positive way and give people hope in a time where they desperately need it. Yeah, small actions can have massive consequences, right? And in this particular case, Sharon, who's played by Hilary Swank, who's kind of like this colorful Aaron Brockovich lady, this broken hairdresser from Louisville, Kentucky, who just sees someone in need and decides she's gonna help them whether they want her help or not, and transforms their lives and in the process, her own life as well. And now all these years later, 30 years since it happened, is really gonna be transformational for millions of people, I think, who watch this story. It's truly incredible that this is based on a true story, right? Sharon, Ed, real characters, yep. Michelle, her battle, a true event that happened. Kevin, why do you think so many people in real life wanted to fight for Michelle and make sure that her life was saved? You know, it was a unique time, I think, um, in Louisville when that storm just happened. But it was like, all of a sudden, you see, what I love about this is you see uh, the community rally around like a news station, <laughs> which was really great. That's how they're communicating, right, at that time period. And, and the, the inspiration and the energy that was just sort of being relayed in that moment, I think is something very special. And just people just started to rally, like, hey, yeah, let's show up, let's do this. Let's do something. Somebody we'll needs help, life. like Somebody let's show help, up and yeah. help. It's so simple. And that's what I love about the story. Someone needs help, let's help them, right? Don't need to know anything more about her. And, and then the power of more and more people arriving, you know, led by this woman who is just determined to save a life, it's a really wonderful reminder that we should support, love, and help each other, and how communities really do want to stay together and stick together and help one another. And one of the things I noticed about this movie is that even though it's got a faith thread, which is quite strong in it, it's not something that kind of sort of hits you as the audience like some other faith-based movies might. After the success of ones like Jesus Revolution and those you've mentioned, what do you think is the secret ingredient for making a faith movie that resonates with a wider audience than perhaps just the faith community? Uh, for me, I think it's making a story that's very universal and very accessible um, for audiences. So you have themes that everybody can relate to. And so uh, this is one of those stories that has that. And, um, you know, I mean, whether it was a church that helped or any other type of community group, you know, we can all relate to, hey, somebody reaching out to help. And as a group, we can come together and rally and be able to do something extraordinary in and, that moment. And it's built authentically into the story. I mean, this is a true story. This is who these people were. And I think faith is an issue that so many people connect with in their lives and it's part of people's lives and so when it's woven honestly and authentically into a story with people who faith is a part of their life then it doesn't feel like they're it's you're being hit with it it feels like it's something you connect with in an authentic way yeah absolutely well i enjoyed ordinary angels thank you guys so much for your role in putting it together really appreciate your time today thank you thanks uh, for staying up so yeah, late thank you. <laughs>